Hey YouTube, CurlyCast here. Um, been a while since I've done anything. Uh, um, uh, you may have seen the f uh, video log I said that I was going to uh, Vanguard Nats. So this is where I got the uh, playmat. Uh, the Chrono, don't know. Don't know. I, ha I haven't actually yet seen the anime for it to be fair because I stopped watching and or caring for it. Um, but <clears throat> I said I was building a new Link Joker deck, which I uh, am, which is... Um, God, well that's already a good mess up. Uh, the Messiah Link Joker build. I took this to um, to nationals and I made it to the top thirty. Top, I made it within the top forty. I came thirty ninth uh, with this deck. Uh, went six three overall with it, so it's really good. And I thought I'd do a deck profile on it, so um, well, strides can wait, you know, ebooky. So we'll do the strides. So we'll just crack on with the deck. So the first card, my starter, is a uh, Neon Messiah. Uh, it's a four runner, generation break one skill. Uh, when this card is unlocked, you may put it into Soul, and then search for your deck for a Grade Three Messiah card. So basically, he helps you get the Stride Fodder out, and generation break ride is really good because if you ride it correctly, and you go, um, I'll show you the combo in a second. But if you do it correct, um, you can, you know, you set yourself, you set yourself up for stride next turn. So I run that. I was running the other starter, um, maybe less spirit or something, but it wasn't, it wasn't really working out. Um, next, I run uh, four Alter Ego Messiah, or as I like to call him, a uh, good guy Chaos Breaker. Uh, basically, his skill is on Generation Break Two when a card is unlocked. Just a card is unlocked anywhere. You Soul Blast. Uh, one and draw a card. So basically the same as Chaos Breaker skill, but he retired, then you Soul Blast, then draw. He just Soul Blasts and draws. Um, but what I was talking about with the combo, so if you if you go, if your Grade 3 is this, and that's your starter, and then you stride, so let's say we just go into, we stride into, uh, what's this one called again? Judgment Messiah. So if you run into Judgment Messiah, uh, his skill goes off to Cannon Blast One. You lock a card, and then you lock one of your opponents. And so then, when, when this card unlocks, he goes into Soul, and then you search your decks for a Grade Three. That's basically the combo that I try to do with. So that's uh, for Alter Ego Messiah. Oh yeah, and his Stride skill is when a card when a card strides on top, you Counter Blast One and lock one of you, uh, and it gain you lock one, and they gain. Thing, uh, you look you look one of yours when a stride goes on top basically that's what the combo it carries on with the combo uh, the next grade three I run is cradle of the stars Stella maker um, I like this one um, it's not bad I know people prefer to run um, uh, this one uh, nebula Oh no, Neutron Star, something, Nebula, Neutron Star, something like that, anyway. They're all, they, their names are no longer Star Vader, they got really long names now. So it's uh, Lady Gunner of the no Neutron Star. Uh, her, her skill is basically when you play it on Rearguard or Vanguard, you lock one of yours and lock one of the opponents, which does help, but I kind of preferred using uh, Stella Maker in the sense that if you get it off right, you can cause some serious pressure because on Generation Break Skill 1, when this card attacks, if you unlock 2, um, he uh, gains uh, an extra 3k power and an extra crit, and I think it's the extra critical that really kind of pushes for the pressure, because the opponent can choose to take it or not. So that's it for grade twos. On to grade threes now. Oh, sorry, that's it for grade threes. On to grade twos. God, um, I'm only running two. Uh, Thundering Foot. Uh, he's not bad. He's a great two that when he attacks Generation Break Skill One, if you unlock a card, he gains uh, 4k power. So he wait, is it 4k? Yes, yeah, 4k. Um, he basically uh, becomes an a uh, 13k attacker, which isn't bad. But I think it's mainly because he's a great two. Like I don't really need him that much, considering I've got a lot of great ones that already do that for me. But he's still not bad. At the end of the day, he's either a good Vanguard or Rear Guard to go into. Alright, uh, this is probably a key card for the deck. Uh, Awakening Messiah, uh, <laughs> it's from the trial deck. Uh, when this card is unlocked, you can uh, stand it and then give, t and you can stand a unit and give 2k power. So basically what I like to do, so let's just say this is the field, uh, he's locked, 
Uh, Vanguard, need a Vanguard quickly. Okay, let's just say, let's just say that's that's a stride. Eat, uh, oh no, even better actually. I know exactly which one to use. I'm sure, I've really thought of this. So, let's say I'm using this one. So, I'm using Amnesty Drag. So this attacks. This attack skill goes off. I unlock Awakening, stand that, and then I can give the power here or here. Yeah. Oh no, wait, no. No, no, the power has to go there. Yeah, the power has to go to the stand vanguard. Sorry, my bad. This is the stood card you go. Only three of him. He's actually really good. But it's still a key card for the deck. Uh, another key card? I rely on this card way too much. Um, Lady Battler of the of the Gravity Well. Uh, basically, Generation Break skill 1. You lock one of your cards, she gains 3k power. Uh, 4k power. So it does help in causing, like, making this another 13k column. And at the end of the day, that like... The, if you get the column right, the column becomes like a 20k something on its own, so it becomes ridiculous in terms of power. Key card, though. Uh, a key card. Another helpful card. Um, Sunset Edge Dusk Blade. Uh, generation sk Skill 1, when this card's boosted, Counter Blast 1, you lock one of your opponent's uh, rear guards. A grade 2 or less. So you can't lock a grade 3, but basically it does help in terms of causing some locking thing, and if you play it right, you can do like a Star Vader combo and lock up and lock the front two uh, interceptors, so you know they're stuck. Oh, um, I only run two Destiny Draw. Uh, he's a Messiah Searcher, and at the same time, he's a uh, Stride Fodder. That's literally it. I've only really used him for Stride Fodder. Occasionally, I've had to uh, use him as a starting Vanguard in terms of grade one, but very rarely. Another really helpful card, I got this promo from the tournament, which that is a video coming up soon, is uh, Lady Battler of the White Dwarf. Uh, generation break skill 1, when this card boosts a unit, you can choose to unlock a card and she gains 4k. So basically you unlock Awakening, so basically the combo is you can unlock Awakening Messiah, attack, boost, skill, unlock, stand, the power still goes through, you know, it still adds up and it, it's dumb. But it does help. It's really good. And yeah, this is actually the... Uh, can't see if that's clear. Yeah, this is the promo version. I picked up like six within the first ten minutes of entering. Another really key card. Uh, Dark Metal Chameleon. <laughs> Very helpful card. Um, I run four because basically when he's unlocked, he can... you When he's unlocked, you unflip a damage. So he's a damage, fl a damage flipper. Um, and he has resist too, so it basically means when a person says, oh yeah, retire it, you're like, nope, I still get my damage on Flipper, you're on your own. Uh, I run four because, well, basically this deck isn't necessarily counter blast heavy, it's just the, um, the strides tend to be heavier. And now I only run the trial deck P-guards, the perfect guards. A reason for this is, is because, like, even though the new ones are good, don't get me wrong, they're really good, but with decks like Dragonic Overlord The End, and the cross still running around where they have to attack rearguard or vanguard. I I rather just keep these because, you know, you know the new ones only say they protect the vanguard. They're not just a standard card where you can just go like yeah no to anything. They're they're a vanguard only. So if they attack the rearguard, you have to guard for that, and that can just basically be a problem. Well, I'd rather just use this to go no, because that that's helpful. Um, onto triggers. <laughs> I run four draw. That's the one that goes into soul. And gains 3k power to the, any unit, so basically it helps with uh, j uh, good guy Chaos Breaker. 8 crit, for basically for critting, and 4 hill. That's that basically done. On to the uh, strides now. So for stride units, I run... Oh, sorry. 2... Um, What's this one called again? Oh, Genesis Dragon, Amnesty Dragon. No, Amnesty Messiah, sorry, my bad. Not Amnesty Dragon. Um, basically, what it. Uh, key, really good card. Um, when this card. So, when this card attacks, you counter blast one. If you unlock up to. I'm going to zoom in a bit. If you unlock up to uh, three cards, this card gains an extra. gains 3k power for each card unlocked and, f and an extra crit. But that, even way, when you unlock. Uh, no matter how many you unlock, it still gains 3k power. It just basically gains an extra crit if you manage to unlock 3. Or more. Uh, another really good card is Nebula Dragon Big Crunch Dragon. Uh, 
basically he is the oh that's a bit blurry there. He basically is the Omega Lock card because you yeah, turn one, you counter blast one, and then you flip a copy of him over and you can lock down an entire column. Which is really good. Uh I won one Blizzard. Uh basically, um Blizzard. He basically does the job of counter blasting one, so it instantly puts me onto generation break skill two, which can help for early game. And one um Genesis Dragon Judgment Messiah. Basically he's like I don't even use him. The skill is like I go into that first and then flip this up. So he he's basically he's just there to fill up the numbers. Well, that's my deck profile. I hope you guys like. Um I know so I I hope you guys liked it anyway. Um yeah, I will be putting a video up of my uh, event at the uh, national tournament, so look forward to that. It's just editing it all together as I, as this is being put up too, so don't worry, it will be done. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Curly Cast out.